Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of VGU Talks, where we have a nice sit-down conversation about the world of gaming. I'm Don the Expert of Coles here from VideoGamesUncovered.com, and today we're answering the question, is the Kinect a joke? Well, let's think about this. Now, I'm going to put my two cents into the mix, but before I do, it's key to point out where this whole question is actually spurred from. This question is actually spurred from Peter Molyneux recently coming out thinking that the Kinect is unnecessary and a joke. Ooh, low blow right there. So this is what Peter Molyneux had to say about the Kinect. I actually wish the Kinect wasn't a requirement. It feels like an unnecessary add-on to me. Maybe it's because we're in England and it doesn't really use the TV stuff but it feels more and more like a joke. That's a shame. As well as that, Molyneux also goes on to explain why the Kinect camera itself can be a bit finicky. Let's have a look at what he says about this. My son and I sit there saying random things at it, and it doesn't work. Microsoft could cost reduce it, and by removing the Kinect, I'm sure they're going to release an Xbox One without Kinect. It would be unthinkable that they wouldn't. So of course, Peter Molyneux is saying that having the Kinect with the Xbox One as a bundle is a little bit of a joke, basically. He is stating the fact that the Kinect isn't there yet, it isn't 100%, it isn't worth the money, and quite frankly, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And I can understand what Peter Molyneux is saying about this whole situation. But wait, it gets a little bit more finicky. You see, when this came out, you know the brand new head of Xbox? You know, Phil Spencer, the gamer, the man. I'm looking forward to what he does with the Xbox crew. I'm hoping he's going to do a fantastic job. And he's actually put his two cents on what Molyneux said. He came out saying that the Kinect camera is an integral part to the complete package of the Xbox One. And in fact has come out stating that removing the Kinect from the Xbox One is not a necessity right now. He says that the necessity the gamers themselves are asking for are the games. They're asking for the next top of the line games rather than asking for a console without the Kinect. And by all means I can understand what he's seeing there. I mean with Phil Harrison he wants to give gamers games. He wants to appease gamers in the best way he possibly can. And he must be looking into this. He must be looking into what gamers obviously want, both those that currently have an Xbox One and those that are looking to get an Xbox One or are somewhat interested in their next gen console. So of course, this whole thing stirring around, a lot of people are putting their two cents into the mix, so I'm going to put my two cents into the mix. Do I think the Kinect is a joke? At the moment, yes and allow me to explain why. The technology just isn't quite 100% there yet. Of course, the Kinect is pretty darn awesome. I can dig it. Voice recognition, retina scans, all that jazz will be a thing of the future someday. And you know what? I would love nothing more than when I'm in my office or in my room cleaning things up, I would love nothing more than to say, Xbox, Xbox on, Xbox music or Xbox play music and I'm cleaning my room while my Xbox is now loading up it's now playing music I'm getting everything sorted out and then when everything is sorted and I'm ready to sit down and play a video game I could just go Xbox Titanfall and there you go I'm now playing Titanfall and it's all through voice commands and now I can pick up my controller because through that entire time I've been too busy to pick it all up that's a real good thing of course, the games on the Kinect are another question. And if you know me, you know... I'm not a big fan of Kinect games. I just think the Kinect games are a little bit too finicky for my liking. Because they rely too much on those tiny, really hard to predict movements that the Kinect still doesn't seem to pick up yet. Which is unreliable. And if you have unreliability with a peripheral that is needed in order to play a video game, that video game instantly becomes bad. Not because of the game's design, but because of, ironically, the connectivity to the Kinect. Which is a shame. Now, do I think that 
the Kinect should be removed from the Xbox One bundle so we can just get an Xbox One on its own? Yes, definitely. Like everyone else is saying, it's only going to do good. You're going to open up a heck of a lot more chances for people to go quids in on the Xbox One. You're going to sell a heck of a lot more copies of the Xbox One to match up with the sales of the PS4, which are going pretty darn smoothly, might I add. And it's just going to be nothing but good. And that doesn't mean you have to get rid of bundles altogether. You can bundle together a Turtle Beach headset for one. You can bundle together a few games. Obviously you've got the bundle for Titanfall. Just remove the Kinect camera from it. You can do a bundle with so many things just with a console on its own. I don't see why you have to shove a peripheral that quite frankly isn't there yet with the console. And I haven't seen many people that I'm mates with use the voice commands or just use the Kinect in general. They, they've actually came out to me saying that they've They've literally just plugged in the Kinect for the sake of playing on their Xbox One. They don't really care about it whatsoever. Which is a true shame, because Microsoft have obviously put the money into this. They want this to succeed. Heck, they're investing a lot more money into this by the looks of things to get the technology right, because they know it's the future. But when we're not psyched on it yet, because we know it's that bad. I think that's half the problem as well. But that's my take on it. And of course, Molyneux has his, Phil Spencer has his, but I'm interested. What are your thoughts on all this? Do you think the Kinect is a joke? Do you think the technology isn't there yet? Or do you think the Kinect is fine as it is and it just needs patches? Or it just needs a game that appeals to the Kinect properly? How about that? Let us know what you think in the comment section below, because as always, it's always great to see what you guys think about these situations. And I'll be seeing you next time for another dose of VGU Talks.